Welcome back guys to Road to October. This is episode number three and uh, we're actually making some stuff happen this week. All right, round two of the pyramid head mocking up. Uh, this one here was the first attempt and this one here is the one I just finished up and you probably can't tell a whole lot of difference. Um, this one here got wider uh, than that one and this one actually it grew um, down the nose a little bit it's it's very subtle but um, but uh, a little bit of change and you probably can't really see in the back that it projects out a little bit further than uh, the first one there so anyway I'm pretty happy with this so I think I'm gonna cut that apart and use those pieces of cardboard as my template and I'll start um, converting that over to EVA foam and Sorry I stopped in mid-sentence there. My camera did some weird recovery thing, so I'm not sure what that was all about. But anyway, since then, um, we've actually made progress. I've taken that template and transferred it over to EVA foam, and we're actually got something started here. So um, got to, obviously I need to, I'm gonna beef this up here, uh, straighten it out because it's not very straight at all. Um, I need to put some reinforcement and stuff inside here. Um, just a few few things, but uh, all in all, this thing went together pretty well. I can't uh, I can't complain. So that's where we're at now, and uh, we're gonna keep plugging away at this thing and uh, make a little further. So one slight problem I ran into is uh, when I laminated these two pieces together, my helmets turn into a bit of a banana so what I'm going to do is take some of these sticks and I'm actually going to cut out a channel on the bottom side and lay that in there and then the next coat will uh, will cover it up so hopefully that's going to straighten out my my taco here there that actually uh, worked out pretty well you can see it uh, straightened it out um, pretty good while I'm at I'm also reinforce the uh, the bridge of the nose I guess you can call it and um, then once that all sets up then I can go back with my third layer of EVA foam and cover that all up and uh, continue on so for the screens in the uh, helmet I had a couple of different options I wanted to explore um, this was actually like the the shelf mat um, I literally pulled this out of my tool chest underneath the uh, tools and um, it's, uh, it's that foam stuff and uh, I like the way it's um, it, it fills it in and you can't really see through it very much over on this side this is um, like gutter guard you put this stuff over you get it in um, six inch by like 20 foot rolls of this stuff um, this stuff would look pretty cool all rusted up too but as you can see you could uh, you can see right through it where this stuff is a little bit more um, opaque I guess so I think we're gonna go with this here I'm just gonna have to clean it up and um, course paint it and everything so yeah so look at this mess that I'm working with right now um, but right now I am working on this gear for the back of the uh, pyramid head helmet and um, basically it's just some built up pieces of EVA foam and you see this um, paper that's pinned to the back of it basically what I did was I put it in AutoCAD and um, and I could align the teeth uh, exactly where they need to be to be uh, proportionally spaced out and I printed that out and pinned it onto the back and here I have my teeth that right now I'm just waiting for the glue to uh, set up a little bit and then I can um, attach them to the gear here and hopefully if everything works out right uh, I'll be able to um, line them all up correctly and we'll have a nice pretty little gear but we'll see all right so bad lighting I know uh, but we're gonna do a little uh, detail where this is super ghetto but I took a socket a uh, really small socket and um, basically uh, you see that screw that set screw wedged into my soldering iron to make the socket hot and I'm going to press it into the uh, EVA foam to get that depression of the um, the socket and so um, I'm not going to record doing this because I can't hold the camera and do it at the same time but once I'm done I will show you the end result so I didn't get the detail that I was hoping for, but I mean, it's still kind of a cool little extra 
whatever. So uh, I'm going to actually glue a googly eye right to the middle of it to make like a, a rivet. And uh, I think that's going to be good enough for this guy. And then we can plasti dip it and paint it and do all that fun stuff. And uh, yes, I'm not going to say go from there because I always say we're going to go from there. But we're going to go from there. So a little deviation from uh, Pyramid Head. Uh, since it was nice out, I decided to do a little uh, work on the mannequin silicone mold. Um, ran out of material, but uh, what I did was I used this GE all-purpose uh, silicone um, sealant and uh, mixed that in with some uh, polyfiber just to uh, thicken it up to make it spreadable. And as I was laying it on, I was uh, laying in some cheesecloth to uh, just kind of reinforce it a little bit. And then uh, to get the blue color, um, just added some uh, silicone pigment here. But yeah, like I said, it ran short here, so need a little bit more. And then we'll do another coat uh, without the polyfiber and the cheesecloth to get it uh, smoother so we can get the, uh, the jacket mold poured on top of it. Um, other thing is we've been working on is uh, some hands, believe it or not, always with the hands. Um, had an order for five pairs of them, so been uh, painting them a lot this weekend and uh, just got the last bit of blood on these and uh, they'll be ready to go. So, yep, that's what uh, this weekend's been uh, full of this 